What is going on today, Summoners? We're back with another exciting RTA commentary video. Today we're featuring Zir. Zir uses a myriad of really tough meta units, obviously gonna be really well ruined, but the reason I'm really excited for this is he uses one of the LD Nat 5s that I actually have, the Light Oracle Lima. Uh, I've recently built a comp around her because I was like, I wasn't having fun with RTA. I finally built a comp with her and it's carried me not only to my personal best, uh, ranking so far in the season. We'll see if we can maintain that, but it's also just been fun to play with as well. So finally finding a use for one of my LD fives, um, <laughs> has been really exciting and kind of reinvigorating for me to want to play RTA this season. So I'm excited to come and see someone else play around with it. Obviously, uh, the only two units I have that this guy's drafted in this particular match is Lima and Fran. Um, so it's not like I could replicate what he's doing, but we can get, a, get an, another idea of other uses for her as well outside of my use. So anyways, we're going to get to some action here in a moment, but... Before we do, please remember to like and comment the, on the video if you enjoy it. And please smash that subscribe button. It turns out a lot of you guys that watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. And that would really, really help me out. Hit that notification bell when, so you know when our videos go live. And let's get into some action. All right, so we're gonna watch this match first, the one that we were just previewing. It is Zier versus, I'm gonna, we'll call him Vela because that's in the profile picture there. We do see the Lima come out with the Savannah. There's Barbara and Fran, and of course, a Ragdoll. Ragdoll is gonna be huge. Barbara and Garo getting the bands, takes away that fire speed lead and the uh, multi-hit requirement killer. Let's see what Lima can do. So she puts out the strip slow on to everybody that is gonna be absolutely huge so i'm wondering if this is a swift lima here we will have to see that was a quick exodus right there good game good game the the aoe strip into slow is actually really op at first when this change was made to lima i wasn't a fan because i was like oh man you can put so many dots on people this way. They can lose a lot of HP or forces cleanses or whatever, but I've actually really, really come to love the slow, especially paired up with a, a sleep unit like Hathor. Zier versus ZZ. Ragdoll is the opening pick. There is the Tyrannus Harmonia Lima Savannah coming. Miho and Laika, very nice. We do see a Rocky, very strong pick here. Rocky and Laika getting the bands. So we are going to see what happens. So Lima taking that first turn again. Noah, this is a Despair Lima. Very, very fast Despair Lima, by the way. Uh, probably has the fastest despair set this guy owns on his account right now. Very, very toxic. I run mine on Violent and it's actually a lot, a lot of fun. She cycles turns like crazy, crazy. But then again, if I had a Violent set or a, a despair set to compete with this kind of speed, I would might consider that too. So he uses her as kind of that first turn strip. But the, the, the cleanse, invincibility, immunity, heal that she provides is also nuts. Along with that skill one turn cycling that the oracles offer on high crit builds. Look at that. AoE slow once again. There goes the snipe on the sniper himself. Daphnis all gone. Provoke a big proc from the Fran. And we're going to see her come out with Fairy's Blessing. Rebuff everything up. Savannah is going to try to put the Miho down, but not quite low enough on the HP was the Miho for that. There she goes. Lima finishing the job. Even got the Despair Stun, regardless of the death. Very fun. Very fun. This is what I wanted to see, you guys. G3 versus G3. Zir versus or Zer versus Sick Narf Shoes. We've seen Sick Narf. We've done a video on him in the past. Very, very good player. We see the same draft, but with Rika and Verd coming out. Verd, a very strong pick into the Leo here. And Lima gets the ban. That is a testament to how 
how powerful she actually is you guys a uh, little bit underrated is lima i do believe so here comes verd the arda is going to do art of things but he hasn't really landed much of a despair stun yet i'm wondering if he's even on despair at this point normally would have landed a despair stun by now big sleep coming out from sick nerf on to zero side of the field we are gonna see a savannah get dismounted very shortly you guys there she goes doesn't do much damage anyway with the leo on the field there's the despair stun we were looking for on the rika and now Tyrannus is gonna focus that rika because rika is definitely the big threat here artemil gets the revenge kill on savannah that was basically a guarantee to happen uh, in a matter of time knowing she's gonna crit there goes the rika and that has got to be game that very very well played by sick narf shoes here and lima definitely a clutch ban as well still hanging in still hanging and gonna see can the torrent there goes the arda but there's still terrainus on the field leo's still there too so kind of kind of a tough position to be in good match same pairing these guys had a match earlier as well there there was probably about six or seven matches that Zara had bef between these two this would have been the first one that they had let's see if this lima popped off and that is why she got the ban the first time yeah hathor friends getting the ban so keeps the attack buff away from sicknar's side of the field makes daphnis a little bit less potent potent a little bit but we do got double beast riders there's the big strip stun barbara coming in almost gets the kill on the daphnis will that be enough savannah comes in does her aoe and that is enough to finish off the daphnis puts a good hurting on the arda barbara's gonna come and drop that arda down he is already below 50 percent health and not even max stacks yet lima with a huge buff there taking no damage for now will be Zare. The Arda cannot compete with that much uh, invincibility. There goes the Wusa. Tyrannus and Arda are left on the field all alone, you guys. Obviously, Tyrannus is going to bring probably the Wusa back. No, brings the Daphnis back. Very surprising. Very, very surprising. Unless you can get a heal off. Does not get the heal off. Not enough provoke. That is going to be it for Daphnis one more time i feel like daphnis was a little too squishy to be bringing back there uh unless you've got high attack bar because the only problem with tyrannus revive is he brings you back with zero attack bar and only what like 30 or 40 percent hp so even with your defense buff if you bring back a fairly squishy unit and your opponent is going to be getting the next couple turns you're probably going to lose that unit right away again before it gets a chance to do anything if you bring back a tankier unit such as the wusa in this case maybe has a chance to survive food for thought all right this is the first of two matches between zare and point we're gonna call you point all right zare and point taking the first two so let's see what happens here uh we get mina ragdoll barbara fran and the barbara and zing zay getting the ban so not a lot of damage on point side of the field let's see if he's able to make something work here maybe that's a crit damage triana and suck met we'll have to wait and see so targeting the vertiheel first very good target um just going to try and punch right through Triana's passive. There goes the heal from her. Does get the strip on the Fran and Violent procs. That is not going to be enough to kill the Verd, but that is a proc. And there you go. Verd is off the field. And immediately Point is in a very, very rough position. Fran can heal herself a bit here. Also still has Vanessa. That's game. Very, very good. Round two zir versus point let's see what we get this time zir point opens with a molong there is zir with the lds ragdoll and the lima we see bulwark and harmonia coming out with suckman and anteris there is a bezel as well ladies and gentlemen 
Barbara and Suckmet getting the bans. No respect given to point from Zare right now. There's a big double stun by the Lima right off the opening bat. Bulwark's at max stacks now, but does not do much with it. And there goes Molong. Just like that, the Beelzebub is just too much. Maybe there were some speed tuning issues on point side of the field. I actually run Molong Bulwark with Lima myself. So interesting to see that many units that I like to pair together uh, on both sides, split between both sides of the field. All right, this time we've got Zir versus Crocodile, fellow Canadian here. Ragged all the opening pick. There is Fran Barbara into the Vanessa Triana. Abelio and Terrain is coming out. There is Savannah and Lima. And there goes Barbara and Terrainus. The Verde Hill, also the final pick for Crocodile. Let's see. That is a fast Triana, ladies and gentlemen. It gets the sleep on the Lima. That is kind of crazy. Who would have thought a Triana would be that fast? Well, that's gotta, is that a swift Triana then? Slow on the Triana now, so it's gonna kind of tame her, but wow, impressive. Does not cleanse the slow. There comes Lima, does not get the strip on the Triana, but gets the strip and slow on Abelio and Vanessa. We are gonna see Abelio look like, no, that is a violent Van Triana, holy doodle. G1 Crocodile outspeeding the G3 Lima with that violent set. Impressive right there. Probably has a broken 230 plus speed runes on there. Big heels coming out from the Abelio. There goes the Fran. Crocodile actually showing the upper hand right now. This is kind of crazy, you guys. This is kind of crazy. What is this match? Here comes Verd for a little more cycling. Working on that Savannah. Really wants to get it dismounted and put him at a huge distance. There is a despair stun from Lima. That is going to be clutch. Abelio gets a big proc there, but that is not going to be enough to save Triana. There she goes. No Vanessa passive to save her and bring her back. But also we see Savannah go down and Lima is in a bad place. But look at the recovery that she brings. Go ahead and cycle Verd. Doesn't matter. You're not going to do damage. Here comes that Ragdoll. Big counter from the Verda Hill there, you guys. Big, big counter. The question is... Can you kill this Ragdoll when he gets into Torrent Rage? Or avoid getting him into to Torrent Rage entirely? Goes against the double Despair Stun. Despair gives her skill to some utility when they don't have buffs. There goes the Ragdoll and the G1 Crocodile takes the win over the double LD5s. Something tells me Crocodile is actually a little bit higher than a G1 player because uh, that Triana's speed on Violet? Wow. Just wow. That's got to be like a 280 Violet set or something. I, I, I'm obviously guessing. I have no point of reference. But we already know that that Lima was really fast on Despair and she was outsped. Not to mention that Sleep. On the skill one sleep from the Triana on the Lima to start the battle. That really set the tone right there. Zare versus LK Men. I'm just going to call you Men. All right. We see Ragdoll with Barbara Verd coming out. There is Daphnis and Ophelia. Love to see the Ophelia. Would really like when I find this. I think she's a really good unit. Miho and Triana getting the ban. There's a Beelzebub on the field as well as a Lydia and an Annabelle. Been seeing some Annabelles in, in these videos we have. And uh, th that's kind of intriguing. Maybe I should build my Annabelle up. All right, focusing on that Daphnis to start, but we do have a threat state ready to go from Ophelia as well. There's a big reset, and Daphnis goes down before Ophelia can get a chance to protect him. That is a huge point of damage gone, but there is Lydia, by the way. Don't forget about Lydia and what she can do. Now, there was a Beelzebub on the field. So there is a reason that Zare has not abandoned this battle as of yet. And maybe, just maybe, 
can take out there goes the Ophelia in the process man here comes Beelzebub does he one shot the Lydia no he one shots the Annabelle the, I, I, I maybe decided to go after the Annabelle knowing that Lydia would reflect the damage that might have been the safer play is this there goes LK man oh man just when you think your Lydia could come in and clear the whole field Beelzebub is there any other team any other team, any other monsters, that would have been game right there, you guys. But no. Well, I guess maybe Theo would have survived because of Endure. But that's it. He wouldn't have come back and then one-shot somebody either. So any other monster than Beelzebub in that slot. And that was a win for LK Men. Crazy, crazy unit, you guys. That, that's such, a, such an OP mechanic right there. Good game. All right, we've got Zare versus Plasma here. Opens with the Ragdoll into Tyrannus and Artemil. We see Lima and Savannah, Velajul, Fengyan, Fran, Odin, and Bulwark. With Odin and Velajul getting the bands. So Lima's going to get first turn here. She misses the strip on everybody but the Artemil. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Kind of, kind of crazy. This does look like possibly a Shield Will Revenge uh, Bulwark as well, by the way. Um, all right, Bulwark taking down that Savannah big time, but that is a defense broken Feng Yan right now and going to try and deliver as much damage. But there goes Savannah. She is dismounted already, you guys. She is going to be in a bad way. Does get the kill on the Feng Yan, though, but is that going to be enough with Tyrannus on the field. This Arda is revenging like crazy. Not really stunning too much. Big stun by Lima on the Tyrannus. Gonna prevent him from reviving without a violent proc anyway. Bulvrick is not getting any more stacks, but here we go. He is gonna be at full stacks now, by the way, as well. And will have a chance to fully heal. May as well use Fran. He's already at full stacks. Go right ahead. Heals everybody up does bulwark actually a pretty strong unit in certain situations kind of weak in others because the opponent can control their buffs so in a way has uh, a lot of control over his stacks i have found that the offense is a better defense when facing bulwark especially with lima personally feel free to stack him and you can typically out dps uh, his ability to recover Anyways, this Tyrannus is going to die to dots. There goes the Bulwark. Tyrannus is up, but he gets a big violent proc. Kills the Savannah. Are we going to be able to take him down now? There he goes. That is going to do it for Tyrannus. No heal coming from the Artemil. May as well buff up. Kill the Tyrannus. And that is going to be game, ladies and gentlemen. There is, unless Arda gets some really, really lucky stuns here, there is no way he can take down this team. He would also need to be stunning Ragdoll during Torrent time. Because no defense break, so he's going to have to deal with Torrent. And one Torrent from Ragdoll is going to deal death to this Artemil. We all know that, but it's not going to happen. Too little, too late. Even if you heal here... It's not going to be enough. That 50% heal is so huge. So, so huge. But it's you're buying time. You're not going to get it. This is a destroy. Despair, destroy Artemil. Will he get it? No! Goes. Fran healed him out of torrent range. Like, extra damage torrent range. But still going to be enough at this point in the match. Ragdoll OP, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of not really. He's strong. He's very, very strong. Very, very strong. He just, he, he, he makes your whole team better by being on the field. That, that's what makes him so, so crazy. All right, we've got round three versus Zare and Sick Narf Shoes. Here we go. Sick Narf opening with the Hathor into Ragdoll Fran. We see Laika and Tyrannus coming out. There's Arda, Vela, Gany, and Mio. Hathor and Fran getting the bands. Let's see what kind of damage this Rocky can do without the attack buff. Big glancing on to the Ragdoll to start the game. That it was definitely a swift Ganymede. Miho coming out, delivering some huge damage to the Laika with no 
Noble passive proc. Rocky goes for skill three and cannot kill that Miho, by the way. Does not get it. It is going to be time now before Rocky gets that skill three back up. Like a stun and now is going to die back one more time with soul protection. Gany resets the Tyrannus and pushes everybody back and Laika is going to go down one more time here. Doesn't only got one noble passive proc out of all those hits. Kind of gross to be honest. Kind of gross. Tyrannus is doing some fluff damage here onto the Gany. Gets a big proc. Skill 2. 7600 damage. Respectable for no defense buff and in druid form. Let's see. Oh, Arda gets the big heal on the Ganymede, and that is going to be game, you guys. Rocky is glanced, does not get much with skill two. Miho is going to kill her, and it does look like game number three is going to go to Sick Narf Shoes for a 2-1 in this pseudo best of three match that just sort of happened is Tyrannus if no Mio gets the huge stun on the Tyrannus it is just too much but Tyrannus violent procs he still has turns to go Arda with another big heal on the Gany there goes Tyrannus the reset still lasting and that is going to be game Torrance the Miho but it's a crit what is it going to do game three goes to sick nerf shoes hate to see a Miho in there but there she is and guys that is gonna do it for today's video if you enjoyed please make sure to drop a like and a comment down below smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when my videos go live and i will see you guys all in the next one happy summoning